2011 is a major milestone for Jeep, 70 years into production. And for 2011, the Wrangler received some significant updates, including an all-new interior and some minor exterior tweaks. But for 2012, the Wrangler gets a heart transplant, a brand new 3.6 liter Panastar engine that's used in the Grand Cherokee and also the same five-speed automatic. So this off-road powerhouse has some chops to get you where you need to go. We're in beautiful Oregon to find out what the Wrangler is like on road and of course, off road. For Wrangler, Jeep has had a two-stage approach. For the 2011 model year, they did things like update the interior, all new interior, softer on the door panels, on the armrests, much better looking dash with some bright chrome accents, a very nicely done job. You gotta remember, this is a real utility vehicle, but they've made it look much better for everyday on-road use. In addition to that, the hardtop, that we have in this model here, you can get with the same color as the rest of the vehicle. It comes painted and it really makes the Jeep look fantastic. Now for 2012, they finished the product redevelopment by adding in a new engine and transmission. The same 3.6 liter V6 you find in the Grand Cherokee and the same five-speed automatic gearbox. Gives you 282 horsepower. That's a 40% increase in power and a 10% increase in torque. Now the old 3.8 liter V6, there were complaints from off-roaders that it didn't have the low-end torque that they need to crawl over rocks and uh, basically anything that you need a Jeep for. So this is a great advancement for this Jeep product. We're on road, and what's remarkable about this Jeep, we're doing about 90 kilometers an hour, is how quiet and refined it is with this hard roof not the case of Jeeps of old and on top of that it still has that Jeep feel it bounces around a little bit on the road but people like that and that's why they gravitate towards this model. We're heading to the hills in Portland we're gonna take this thing off-road and we're gonna find out if the improvements with the engine and transmission make it a better off-road Jeep. The Pentastar is 285 horsepower versus the 3H202. Uh, the torque Pentastar is 260 versus the 3.8's uh, 237 foot-pounds. Now, that performance, coupled with the uh, A580, you know, talking about the automatic, and, and specifically to off-road, so the A580 has a numerically higher first gear ratio compared to the four-speed automatic, and so what that has done for us is improved crawl ratios across the board on all automatic transmission equipped Wranglers. Jeep Wrangler has the lowest starting price of any body on frame, off-road ready vehicle in Canada, starting at $22,595. And the most expensive four-door unlimited Rubicon starts at just over $34,000. All Jeeps have excellent off-road prowess, as was demonstrated on our mountain course. The low gearing ratio in manual or automatic allows the driver to crawl over the toughest terrain. The Rubicon model, shown here, has the benefit of a locking differential, heavy-duty shocks, a lower crawl ratio, and the ability to unlock the front roll bar for better articulation. 60% of Wrangler sales are to four-door unlimited customers who like the idea of off-road but use their Jeeps mainly as a family vehicle. Jeep in Canada has had amazing success so far in 2011. Actually, Jeep is on track with Wrangler to have its best year ever. And that's just on the back of a new interior and some minor exterior tweaks. Once off-roaders and people who are real Jeep enthusiasts find out what this new 3.6 liter V6 and 5-speed automatic is capable off-road and how refined and powerful it feels on-road, it's almost certain that Jeep's going to have strong success in Canada for years to come. Did you miss something on the new Wrangler? You can see the review again on drivingtelevision.com.